Hi right, guys, got a uh, Remington 70,000 BTU kerosene heater. And uh, I've been trying to diagnose this for a while now. <clears throat> and I figured out that it's not the spark plug, but the ignition module. It's HF igniter. This one has 120 volts primary. So it's not your standard everyday <laughs> coil. So uh, what I did is I hooked up my leads to my voltmeter here that go into this plug. And that plug goes into here. And that's supposed to be the primary feed, you know, the 120 volts or whatever. So I hooked up the spark plug here just to check and see if there's any spark coming out of it because I took it out of here and to take that out you got to remove everything uh, you got to remove the, all these screws around here take this whole thing out and then you got these screws on the back side that have to come out and then these screws that have to come out and then you can get this plate off of here to get the bolt out of here in order to wiggle it out of there so kind of a pain it's not too bad though but anyway, I got it hooked up there, I got my leads running, and I have power going to it now. I got about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 volts AC. So what I want to do is slip the switch on the back here, and then what you want to do is you want to look for 120 volts coming out of here. And you have to have that switch flipped off. I mean, you have to hear the fuel pump running for it to actually send the voltage to the igniter. Um, I made a mistake by just leaving that switch on and just plugging it in, but the fuel pump never ran. Not unless you flip that switch off and then back on. So you can't leave it on while you, when you plug it in, you have to turn it off. But anyway, here we go. We got 120 volts going into the coil, but nothing coming out of the coil. And there's the fuel pump running. Still got 120, but nothing on the coil, or nothing on the spark plug. And then it goes back down, fuel pump shuts off, and there's no voltage being sent to it because the, uh, what do you call that? The light screen or the light sensor or whatever that detects if there's light in here. Uh, if it doesn't detect light after the first ignition or whatever, then it'll shut everything off. And then it'll, I think a few minutes later, it may try it again uh, after the fumes uh, from, the, from the kerosene kind of dissipate. It'll try it again by itself. I, I do believe that's how that works, but I've never kept it on that long. But I flip the switch back here and it'll stay on after I just turned it off for about five minutes. And that's just a cool down cycle. But I'm just gonna flip the switch there, turn that back on. Flip the switch here to on. And I'm just gonna keep an eye on the spark plug. Absolutely nothing. So, it's definitely a spark module. Because we got voltage going in, but nothing coming out. And I also tested this on a, uh, a car uh, ignition coil. Um, I've posted a video on that too. But uh, I've tested that with a, with a car coil, ignition coil. And it does spark across the terminals. I mean, it, it sparks that big old gap there. So I know that part of it's working. But it's just the, the igniter box is bad. So if you ever got a kerosene heater and it doesn't ever ignite, but you can smell a lot of kerosene, uh, it's probably 
more than likely the igniter. I mean, these spark plugs are just a super simple design. I mean, they just got a bar running through here. I mean, they, they pretty much never break, never go bad. You may have to regap them every now and then. I think this one's like 3.5 millimeter gap. So, yeah, that's how you diagnose a kerosene heater.